Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a very special day that I have the great opportunity to be on this stage. The reason why I'm I'm being invited here is because of my story, the life of my story. To be more specific, the life, the story, how I grew up. One of the biggest English-speaking communities of the country. How I can develop this community over more than seven years in ten cities have been over two hundred thousand Vietnamese to speak English better. How can I make that story for my life? And I'm here today to share with you what I've done with the message. That I want to inspire somebody here, and then you can continue to build your dream. Well, let me start the sharing today by asking you a question: What can you see here, everybody? What can you see? The sand glass. Oh, exactly. Yeah. What else? The sand glass. Obviously, you can see a very colorful, beautiful sand glass. Great. And the next one, what can you see here? Obviously, in the picture we have hundreds of books on the shelf. And the last question, what can you see here? A nice girl. What else? The smile. Well. You all are correct. This is what everybody here can see. Obviously, physically, we all can see something that's the same in our life. But have you ever seen those things in a different field? For example, can you see the time when you see the same glass? Can you? Not really, right? Because it's it's not physical. So, can you see the knowledge? Can you? Not really. And the last one, with the beautiful girl with a bright smile, can you see the happiness? Oh, think carefully, mind me. How can you see that? And that is the topic today. I usually ask myself, why? People live in the same environments, see the same thing, or maybe they can do the same job, but they have, they have the different thinkings. Therefore, they can build a different life. Why? We are the same. We can see the same thing every day. We do the same the same job. So how can people are so different? Some being so high, some motivated, but some people so, I mean, low. What made them different? Looking back to my story, since the day I changed the way I see everything, I changed my life. So this is the root reason, the key of the change. So today I would like to share with you about this. The topic today is about invisible. The invisible. Invisible means you cannot see. So how can you receive what we cannot see? It's funny story, right? So today, step by step, I'd like to show you, to share with you, how I can see what people cannot see, or even yourself. Sometimes you cannot see it. What makes me different, and we are different, not because of everybody can see the same, but what people can see the difference. I mean, the invisible. Well, here, back to my story. When I was a little kid. A little handsome, cute boy. My mother told me that I'm so cute, so I believe in my mom. I'm so cute. So what I can see every day, I see my toys, my candy, my car, my mom and dad, my family members. So I think that most of the kids in the world can see what I can see. And then when I grow up. And I become a student in the university. 
For sure, I can see something else, but mostly, what I can see in school is about school, teacher, lesson, books, grades, score. Those things are mostly what I can see in my student life. And then when I get older, I go to work in a big company. What I can see every day, can you guess? Like the co-workers, yes, and the salary also, the amount of money at the end of the month. Wow, it's amazing time. We wait for the end of the month to get something physically. It's the money. How amazing it was. It's a great energy and motivation. But now, what can I see? My story, now I'm the CEO and father of one of the biggest English-speaking communities of the country. I was born in the middle of the country, which is very city. My accent, local voice, is really typical to speak English. Even when I speak Vietnamese, some Vietnamese they don't understand. And the first time I've been in Ho Chi Minh City, I use my mother language to talk with my countrymen, I mean the people in the same country. But somehow they didn't understand what I'm talking about. I was like in another country. I go to, I go to the bookstore, I have dinner or lunch, I order the food, I say something, and most of the times people ask me what I'm talking about. So you see, even we are in the same country, so me myself before, when I started my study and career in Ho Chi Minh City, I was a very shy, difficult to speak my own language. But somehow, after that, I started with a new journey. I built a dream. The dream about learning English. Because I see that English is still a big barrier, difficulty of me and most of the young people that I have seen at that moment. So I, I start to change. You know why I change? Because I can see something invisible. I tell you a story. Is a few years ago, when I, I was on the street, I ride a motorbike and I, I ran behind a taxi. Um, it, it was a very beautiful day and the traffic is perfect. Nice breeze, environment is excellent. So I ride with pleasure. And suddenly, when I see the back wheel of the taxi, it's over, I see a big stop. You know the stop? Yeah, I see it there. But because it's too close, so I cannot change the direction. Because it's in the middle of the taxi. So when, for the taxi, it's okay because this is a two line of the wheel and the stun is in the middle. The brick and then the taxi go is okay. But me, I see the brick. Oh my god. It's too late to change. You know what happened? And falling down on the street. Because of the small, cute, tiny brick. At that moment, when I fall down on the street, I lie down, I lie down on the street about three or five seconds to think, what's happening? Am I alive? So then I think about the brick, the small thing on the street. I think about it, and then somebody else come and help me to stand up, and then I continue to write. But I. I stop a moment, I come back to take the brick and throw it away. Don't put I, I let it out of the street. So I continue to ride on the motorbike. Thanks God and I was still okay. But I think about the bridge. I see it's not the bridge. I see this is the danger. I see that this is the problem. From the taxi, it doesn't matter. But for somebody behind you, it's a big problem. Maybe you are so smart, you're so big, you're so powerful. Nothing can affect you. Nothing can damage you. But if you look closely, there's some problem. It's not about you. But it's about somebody around you. What happens if you ride a taxi 
and your friends or family ride a motorbike after you, behind you. So I think when I see them, the break the storm on the street, I see the problem. I see the heat and risk. I see my family. I see my friends. If I see this is only the brick itself, I will continue to ride a motorbike and then I don't care about those. But when I see that my family's problem, I come back to solve the problem and throw it away. Hopefully, maybe, somebody can see and somebody will do. You will do because of what you see. So, if you cannot see, you will not do it. If you see that's a spread, so why I have to do so many things? But you see something more, I think that, I believe that, you will do something more. You can see something more and you can do something more. So now, what I see, I see the passion, I see the happiness, I see something invisible. Since the day I had an accident, I changed my life. I change the way I think, the way I take care. When I come back to my hometown, long time ago, when I was a student, I will come back to my hometown twice a year, summer and New Year holiday. When I come back, I see my mother always complain, you pa pa pa. And sometimes she shouts at me, pa pa pa. But even I didn't do anything wrong. But see, blah, blah, blah. So what happened? I see something annoying. She's shouting at me with a very angry face. Every day it sounds boring. I was not a good boy at that moment. But since the day I see something invisible, when I see my mom shout at me, I see the suffering. I see something hurt, something tired. When she shouted at me, I see something that I was not a good boy. So something invisible. I see my mother's face. I see the suffering. I see the love. I see the happiness. Thankfully, my mom still strong enough to shout at me. Somebody else don't have that great opportunity. Can you see that? If you come back to your hometown, you see your mother's face, don't see the face only. See something invisible. So if you practice, I call that is a skill. If you practice every day, you do every time, day by day, I believe that you can change yourself. And automatically, gradually, you might be a better influence to somebody. So back to the next. I see the dream. So I make a dream. I see the motivation, so then I make a motivation. I see the happiness, so I, I make people happy. So you see, when we see the different things, we do different things. There is always invisible thing beyond what we can see every day. It's a bridge, not a bridge. It's a flower, not a flower. Let's take a look closely, emotionally, so you will see something miracle. Something really beautiful and meaningful behind those things that you can see every day. What we see every day, gradually, you will show what, how you feel, what you think, and how you can do. Before, I, when I was a student, I, me before, I see, when I see the game, I only care about who's the winner and who's the loser. And when I play the game, I try my best to be the winner only. And just a bit the loser. What was in my mind was just about the winner and the loser. So that's my target at the moment. And when I see the rich people, I see, wow, they are so rich. I hear more about big house, beautiful car, money, those things I can see. And then I see the money, I see the house. And I see the young people, I see the old people. So with those things in my sight. But later on, what I can see is changed. When I see the winner or the loser, no. Let's take a look how much they have tried. The efforts they tried. But today they are the loser. But tomorrow, 
they can be the great winner ever. And the same, today they are winner, but not sure that it just means that tomorrow they can be the winner. Or you can see the rich and the poor people. Wow, rich or poor is not only about the money. Let's take a look about generosity. How generous they are. They can help the other people, they are willing to help the other people or not. It's not only those things we can see every day. It's the house, the car, and the money. But things how much people can help each other. So now everybody, please give me the hand. Okay, put the hand in front of your, your eyes like this. Please. Thank you very much. So please, look at your hands. Please tell yourself. Don't tell me what you can see on your hand. Tell me what you can see on your hand. You see five or six fingers, right? What else you can see on your hand? Remember, you, what you can see every day will reflect you. If you see the, the hand, oh my god, this is the hand. Is the hand just the hand? But if you see, this is the love of your parents. You, your body, is the love of your parents. Can you see the power? We have the hand. We have the power to take an action. Somebody else, they don't have a hand. We have the power. We have the health. Oh my god, I'm still okay. You see the dream? Yes. So, somebody else tried to Google and search a lot of things around you. What is the good books? What is the good information? What is the good solution? I try to find out information. And then hopefully I will change my life. So you can see that. You read a lot of books. You have listened to a lot of guest speakers. You have taken a lot of training course. But somehow you didn't change yourself. Is it true? Because you hear. You know more than you see. When a speaker talks to you, they tell you what they see, but you only hear what they see. You don't see what you see. So keep asking the question, what I can see on my hand? This is the love of the family. This is the power of the human being we are. This is the good health. Luckily, we have it. This is a great opportunity. Let's take a look. It's reminding, wow, I'm so rich. I'm so powerful. I'm so energetic. And let's take an action. Invisible thing. Cannot touch, but it's really powerful. You cannot see it, but it influences your mindset. It defines your thinking. Day after day, month after month, year after year, everything invisible becomes visible. Think about it. And the last word, to see invisible, to feel more in change. And with the message, hope that everybody can see it different. So hope that you can see something invisible. It might be a fact and influence you. And you can change yourself. And later on, gradually, day by day, together, we can change the country and the world. That's all. Thank you. Thank you.